Wow! Wow, wow, wow! Okay. Oh, 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 oh. No, no. Oh, oh, we fight the we, we, we fight the thing now. We fight the thing now. In this video, I'll be doing a whole playthrough on the new Stroaria Starlight River mod update. Make sure you stay until the end because things get really amazing. Immediately when we spawn in the world, we are greeted with huge new trees. They look quite fascinating. There are also pale stone blocks. We can craft this into a summoner weapon that looks like something from Hollow Knight later. I explore the underground to find some loot. There are some new mini structures in this mod, like this mini underground shack. With a new loot mechanic where you get an item, then you'd have to choose to pick the other two loots. The structure is also useful because it contains other materials. I found a gold chest with a gravitation potion inside of it, and I definitely did not die to a detonator. I mined the rest of the platinum ores. Then I went to the glowing mushroom biome. I found this bouncy mushroom tree. It is very fun to play with. Unluckily, I got the same loot twice in a row from the cave shop. I went back to spawn and used a gravitation potion. Luckily, I found a floating sky island not far away from the spawn point. I used my wooden boomerang to kill some zombies. Then I found the star fury in the sky chest. This is an insanely lucky find considering I did not have any good weapons. I also found this auto scrap sting in the sky island. I found another sky island right when my gravitation potion duration is about to end. This time, I got a celestial magnet from the sky chest. I definitely did not die to a bunch of harpies trying to commit gang violence on me. I explored the underground caves more. I went to the snow biome, and I encountered a snow shrine. I click on its altar and it summons like this guiding aurora spirit. So naturally, my monkey brain had to follow it. Luckily, while you're following it, you're given a mining boost buff. So I was able to mine through the blocks quickly to follow the spirit. The spirit led me to an ice shrine. I got a blizzard in a bottle from the chest in the ice shrine. I click on the altar and it summons the aurora spirit again that led me to more ice shrines. The next ice shrine I opened contained a book of frost accessory and a suspicious looking offering. Funnily enough, there is an ice chest next to it, which contains similar loads to what I've gotten before. And I met a skeleton merchant. This guy sells what is equivalent to the Chinese spy section in the UK. Absolutely nothing. I followed the aurora spirit more, and after another shrine, the spirit led me to this weird black box. I entered the black box, turns out it's the aurora call arena, and nope, I'm not ready yet. I recalled back home and fought against a blood moon that just appeared. I got a living blood material from the blood moon enemies. Luckily, the star fury I got earlier hard carried the entire blood moon. Without it, this would be a living hell. My stupid ass thought it would be a great idea to explore the underground desert during blood moon. Nope, it was not a great idea. I survived through the entire blood moon night. Feels good, man. Using the living blood, I crafted the tomb smasher, this awesome looking shovel melee weapon. I also crafted the blade saw. Finally, I can reenact chainsaw man in true area. Apparently, they also added a cooking feature. Interesting. I went to the crimson biome to destroy two hearts. Then I went to the ocean. I got a bunch of useless loot from this water chest. I got a flipper from the second one. And I died from drowning. I went to explore the jungle biome. I looted a few chests. I got an eye of Tulhu summoning item on a random golden chest. And an anklet of the wind on one of the jungle shrine chests. I definitely did not die to a jungle slime while fighting off enemies. I fought off the goblin invasion using my tomb smasher. The tomb smasher and book of frost combo is doing an excellent job at knocking enemies. It is so good that I successfully defeat the goblin army despite having no armor. I crafted an ivy whip using the jungle materials. I built some houses for NPCs to move in. Then I crafted a whole platinum armor set. As the night comes, we should be ready to fight the Eye of Tuluhu. I thought I'd be using my Star Fury against the Eye of Tuluhu, but turns out my Tomb Smasher is doing a way better job at obliterating the eye. Like I said before, the Tomb Smasher and Book of Frost combo is genuinely extremely powerful for early game. I didn't see that coming. Well, I guess you could say that my eye pun was very cornea. I'm going to fucking end myself in Minecraft. And the platinum armor I crafted just helped me face tank the entire Eye of Tulhu fight. The shield of Tulhu is gonna help me a lot. I got a boomstick from a jungle shrine chest, and I crafted it into a scrap shot, a new shotgun from Starlight River. Apparently, it can also hook into enemies. Brutal. I went back to the black box thing in the underground snow biome. It has an elevator where it transports me to the Aurora Call Arena. I think we should be ready to fight against the giant jellyfish. So I threw the suspicious looking offering into the water, and here we start the fight. During the fight, I got a popping message of a strange traveler has arrived. This message genuinely confused me. It distracted me so I can use this excuse for me to lose on my first try against our oracle. It turned out to be a crow traveler NPC that I can interact with. This guy gave me the star sight ability. This ability allows me to scan objects. It's useful, I guess. Then we went to fight the our oracle again. Turns out you have to target the tentacles. I didn't know that earlier. Need to be careful. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, oh, I'm doing the right thing. Never mind. Oh. Wait, 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 ouch, ouch. Oh, I keep falling in the water, what the hell? 
Why, why do I keep falling to the water? Oh, does, does he shake the ground or something? I can't hook to the wall. Nah. Alright, it's the last summoning item. It's either this or fail. Yeah, let's do this. I tried to throw melee the Auroracle, but quickly realized that throw melee is not the easy way to beat this boss. So I will be using my scrap shot against this boss. Come on, come to me. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh, it's filling the water. Oh no. Less arena for me to move. Auroracle filling the water in the arena is actually a huge issue because if you fall down the water, your health will rapidly decrease and trust me, you're gonna fall more than you think you would be. Now this attack, this attack. Come on, come on, let's go! I can, I dodge all of it. Nice, nice, nice. It's, it's filling the water again, what the hell? What the hell should I do now? Okay, 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 okay. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh, oh shit, it's this attack. Oh, 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 oh! Oh, you should be standing on top of it. Oh no, I'm, I'm gonna die. Please don't die now. Oh no, please don't die now. What the hell? Healing potion, heal five seconds. Oh, 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 oh no! Fuck! Luckily, there are a lot of such species looking offering in ice chest. It's filling the water again. Finally, come on. I'm hyped up, I'm hyped up. We can do this, boys, we can do this. Come on, show your tentacles again. Oh, what the, what the hell is that? Nah, 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 nah. Did you guys see that? Show me your tentacles. Come on, there you go. Your glowing yellow penis. It kind of looks like one though. Think about it. I have a point. Oh, oh shit, shit. Oh, oh, uh, we might be fucked. Okay, never mind. Very good, very good. Oh, oh, nice parkour, nice parkour. Nice, nice maneuver. There you go. Boom, boom, boom. Come on, come on. It's phase 3 now. Okay, okay, okay. I'm hyped up, I'm hyped up. We can do it this time. Ah, he's not dealing too much damage. I oh, sh oh, 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 what the hell? What the hell? Why, why did I jump? Oh. So close to taking it to phase 4 again. So close. We are so close. We are so close. Don't screw this up. Come on. Okay, it's phase 4. It's phase 4. Alright, alright. Back to its phase 4 again. Come on. The water is... The water is rising up. Yeah. It's kind of scary in a way. Oh, it's taking out the platforms. Oh no. Oh no. Come on. Just don't get to the water. Oh, 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 no, no, no. It should be phase four. It's going up. Okay, it's phase four. Don't jump to the water. I think I can survive. I have a lot of HP. It's just that don't jump to the water. The water kind of fuck you up. Oh, oh, see, see. Go, 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 go. There you go, there you go. Oh, no, okay, 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 okay. See, the water is buggy. Oh. That doesn't hit me. Oh, I didn't know that. Maybe just a tip of it. I think it's just a tip, maybe. Oh, oh. Okay. So close, so close. We are very close. We're extremely close. 71 HP. Come on, let's go! Oh, let's go. Oh, that was harder than I thought. Let's see on what we got. Sparkling Tiger Technique. Lucky Squid Fins and Overflowing Urn. Tenta Lance. Oh. That's nice. Let me zoom in a bit. We got few loots from our oracle, like this overflowing urn, and this accessory that lets you swim like a jellyfish. This tentalance drop is extremely good at crowd control, and we also got the axe technique, which basically turns every axe into a deadly melee weapon. I set up an arena on the crimson underground. I threw a bomb on the third crimson heart to summon the brain of Tuluhu. The tentalance is way too good at destroying the swarm of mini brain eyes. The best part is that this weapon pierces through both objects and enemies. So yeah, naturally with tentalance, brain of Tuluhu is basically zero challenge. I did not even struggle one bit. We successfully beat the brain of Tuluhu. I got the brain of confusion accessory from the treasure bag. I crafted the Crimtain pickaxe. I realized that my Crimtain bars wasn't enough, so I defeated one more eye of Tuluhu and one more brain of Tuluhu, which I shredded into oblivion. Looks like the brain of Tuluhu is all brains but no bronze. Then I crafted the full Crimtain armor set, and we should be ready for the next challenge. But before I do that, I went back and fought our oracle one more time. It was easier due to my tenta lance. The reason for me doing this is because I wanted this funny 
tentacle summon mount weapon. It also dropped this bell summon weapon that I can hit with the tentacle. After all that, I went to the underground desert and I mined down, and I dropped myself down to pay a visit to the new beautiful and magnificent Starlight River biome. This big crystal over here will be something fascinating for later. In the meanwhile, let's explore the rest of the biome. Looks like there is a buff beetle bug guarding this some kind of small temple. If you interact with him, you'll be given like a dialogue. Turns out his name is Glass Weaver, and this guy will challenge you into a duel. So you have to enter the arena to challenge him. I thought I was prepared, so I click I'm ready and challenge the guy. The battle consists of waves of enemies. The combination of my tentacle mount and summon bell weapon should be able to easily wipe through it all. But on the later waves, I think I underestimated on how high the damage the enemies deal. So yeah, I died. Things are going smoothly so far. The wave one is easy. Target the flying first. I think I should target the flying first. They are annoying. Right, wave 3, wave 3. Come on. These are the shielded dudes. They, they block your attacks. The bell and the tentacle combo is really good though. Okay. I think it's wave 5, right? I lost count. So if I have to if I want to drink healing potion, I have to dismount it and drink healing potion manually. There you go. It's kind of funny like how this mount inherits the double jump from the blizzard in the bottle. But yeah, we're doing smoothly I think. Oh never mind. Our health is really low. I hope this is the last wave. Is this the last wave? Oh fuck me. Oh. Oh man. Okay. I think we're doing better without the mount. Might be. It's like I'm using crimson armor, right? The enemies don't really deal contact damage. So like, I can just barge into them. It's only wave 4. Oh, Tantalus is really powerful, the Tantalus. Yeah, we don't need the mount anymore. We're, we're much better this way. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Wave 6 right after this? I lost count. I know man, I blanked out. Is there like 10 wave? Oh sh- Oh no. Okay, okay. The sniper first, the sniper first. Okay, please be the last wave. I swear if this is not the last wave. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh! Oh, is it the last one? Yes! Oh! Oh, oh! We fight the- we, we, we fight the thing now! We fight the thing now! Okay, oh no! Oh no, no! Look at my health! Oh, 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 oh! This is- this is trouble! Five seconds left until healing potion! Oh, oh! What the hell? What the hell is that? Oh, oh! oh. Okay, healing potion! Oh, 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 oh! Okay, 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 okay! Oh, oh no! Oh no! What's that? What's that? Oh no! Okay, he's really cool though. Oh 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 oh! Ouch ouch ouch! That hurts. Oh 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 oh! What does that do? Okay 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 okay. Oh oh no oh no! Oh no 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 no! Are we done? Are we done? Are we done? Oh. Okay. Congratulations, you destroyed many decades of my finest work. Using the key I just obtained, I entered the center temple. The inside of the temple contains a lot of enemies and locked gates. There are also puzzles too, like this cox one. It is quite complicated, but you basically need to fit the cock together for it to move. After that, you'll have to solve the shining ray puzzle. You'll have to redirect the laser to hit the roof of this machine. Now that the two puzzles are solved, we are good to go. On the floor below, you'll gain access to a new ability. This ability is called the Forbidden Winds. It essentially allows the player to dash. This ability can also break some objects like these crystals, or even this locked stuff. But before leaving this place, I'll interact with this big crystal to rise the Seiros Arena. Then I explored the underground, and I found this weird AG structure. I interacted with the weird wizard statue altar, and it summoned waves of enemies. I thought I had good loot, so it shouldn't be much of a problem. But I heavily underestimated on how high the damage the enemies deal. However, after some tries, I got used to it and cleared the waves. The altar gave me rewards like Aglet and this weird blade thing. Not too far from the blood altar, I found this weird purple chapel structure. After interacting with it, it seems like that you are bombarded with lots of attacks, but with no enemies, just attacks, similar to how traps work. The traps don't really deal much of a damage and I successfully cleared it, but I don't think this structure rewarded me with anything. I found a whirlwind pickaxe on one of the cave shaft. You can charge this pickaxe and you'll spin like a Beyblade. The blood altar shrine located not too far from the shimmer looks cool 
cool by the way. I don't know if it's intentional or not. On that night, I decided to give Skeletron a shot. But turns out, Tentalans wasn't the best weapon to use in this fight. And I heavily underestimated Skeletron. Not too far from the dungeon, in my case on the left side of my world, there is like this Moonstone Meteor that dropped. It created like a mini biome similar to Meteorite, with lots of enemies and a new ore. These ores are called Moonstones. And I used it to craft the Moonstone Armor. And the Crescent Quarter stuff, which feels a bit sluggish. I also crafted the Zero Summoning item. I combined the Star Fury I got during early game with Moonstones into a Moon Fury. This sword is essentially a direct upgrade to the Star Fury with higher damage. If you guys are wondering what the Moonstone Armor set bonus is, well, see it for yourself. It basically summons Datuze if you use melee weapons for long enough. It is insanely cool. Now that we've geared up, let's face Seiros, the Shattered Sentinel. I've beaten Seiros before in the Starlight River demo a year ago, so hopefully the fight shouldn't be too hard of a challenge. And the Datsuze from the armor set bonus should help me a lot during the fight. The Forbidden Wind dash ability is very important in this fight as you need it to break the gems. Ooh hoo hoo, the screen shake is insane. I mean like, I don't think I will win this one. Yeah, we're doing it great, slowly but surely. As long as we can dodge these things. Okay, we dodged it. Oh, 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 we can't dash towards it. Okay. Slowly but surely, slowly but surely. Come on. Oh, 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 there we go. Nice, nice. Okay, we use the dash. Come on. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Bonk it on the head. Bonk it on the head. Bonk, bonk. Oh, never mind. I'm gonna kill myself. Okay, okay, nice, nice. Oh, we're doing really insane now. Oh, 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 ouch, that hurts, that hurts. Come on. Oh, oh shit, that dealt a lot of damage. Third phase, okay. Nice. Ouch. Whoa, 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 wait. That's, that's unfair, that's unfair, that's unfair. 30 seconds until healing potion. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Bonk it on the head, bonk it on the head. Come on, come on, come on. Ouch, that hurts. The best defense is offense. Oh. I feel more powerful whenever I get a Datsuze blade. It's like I feel invulnerable even though I'm not really not I'm not up. Okay. It's phase five it's phase five now. It's phase five now. Oh it ate the crystal. Oh no. It ate the crystal. Uh oh shit, the arena is moving now. Okay. Oh oh no. I don't like where this is going. Can we beat it this time? I mean like my health is still healthy. My HP is still healthy. I love true melee, not gonna lie. Did they remove contact damage from this boss? I think they did. It's actually really fun to do the true melee. Huh. Oh, what happened to me? Suddenly I became really good. Can I use this Datsuze? I think I can, yeah. Come on, the bonk blade. There we go. Satisfying as shit, bro. Oh, 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 oh my god, that dealt a lot of damage. Oh my god. Okay, we should be careful now. Oh, oh, ho, 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 ho. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Oh, 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 whoa. Okay, okay, okay. We're so close, we're so close. 500 HP. Come on, come on, come on. 200. Oh, 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 come on. Oh, di we did it! Oh. oh my god. That's actually insane. Hey, not bad, eh? Hey, hey, hey. Show the refractive blade. Oh, this blade looks nice. Ho, ho! Okay. I got some amazing loots from the Seiros treasure bag, and I think that sums up of what Starlight River currently has to offer. If this mod receives an update, I'll be sure to continue this series. Thank you and see ya.